Hey everyone, how's it going today? And welcome back to another update. And if you're watching this on release week, hope every single person had a great happy holidays and hopefully a great Merry Christmas. But in today's update is I really just want to take a little bit of a trip back again to talk a little bit about the $5,000 stimulus check. It is also called the EIDL grant. And it's also something that many, many people who happen to be unemployed especially people that were on the PUA program were able to successfully apply or certainly to at least take a chance to see if they're able to get onto this program. The big idea is, is that this is technically a part three to two other videos that we made. I'll put the two other videos at the very, very end screen. I believe it's literally just called apply for $5,000 EIDO unemployment stimulus grant or something like that. You'll see it. It's on the bottom part. Um, but you technically can really watch this in any particular order because they talk about different parts within this particular program and the big reason why is, is because the deadline to apply for this program as mentioned is the very end of this year. So if you're watching this on release date, the great news is, is that we still have a bit of a, you know, a couple of days left. Now, if you're watching this afterwards, there is a lot of uncertainty about whether or not there's a chance they might have already or they might have thought about considering trying to essentially extend the deadline to give a little bit more time. We don't know if that's going to be the case, but that's probably going to be something that we'll have to see from the official website, which I'll likely put some somewhere down below. Um, but the big idea is that in today's update, we're going to talk all about the actual application process to how to get onto this. So if you're someone that either is interested in possibly trying to get onto this, or if maybe you just want to see how the application works to see maybe, uh, maybe it's, if it's not too bad, maybe it's actually worth trying to take a chance at it, then this is basically the video for you. So with that being said, we're going to get started right away, but 10 seconds as always consider smashing the like button. If you guys enjoy videos like this, it's always greatly appreciated. Consider subscribing and hitting the bell. And as always, feel free to comment any questions, personal thoughts about honestly, just really anything, maybe what you guys did or how you guys' Christmas went. So with that being said, let's get this video started. So when it comes to applying for this program, the big thing is, is, and I'll probably put a link at the very, very bottom, but if anything, you're going to essentially start by Googling up EIDL grant because that's the name of the program and it should pop up the very, very first page. It should be something along the lines of SBA.gov. You know it is the correct site if it ends in the letter dot gov then you know that it's pretty much official and when you go onto that page you're going to essentially scroll down um, and there should be like a button that you should click right here where essentially that's going to take you to the start of the application process now when you're there do note is that there are three versions of this program but you're going to start by applying for the regular eido version so you'll see on the very very left side to know that it's just basically the traditional one that we're going to be talking about and essentially once you're inside what you're going to do is is the first page is going to be all about the qualifications. This is probably the easiest part of the application where you're pretty much just gonna scroll through this, check off no, or essentially just letting them know that you are qualified and you fulfill everything there. Now, I do also wanna maybe just drop in an important notice, and this was a very, very common question about how difficult it actually is to get onto this program. So the big thing is that from asking around, because this is technically not released to public, I have found that the success rate to get onto this program is probably going to be right around 50% as a guest. So it is technically and definitely a little bit of a toss up. Um, it used to be a lot easier when they first released the program, but due to limiting budgeting, they did start to increase and make it a little bit strict. But the big idea is that I would definitely go into applying for this program with a little bit of an open mind. You know, if it's able to go through, the great news is we're able to get stimulus money. If anything, we can at least say we took a chance and tried. And I think that's the most important thing. 
Now, once you finish that first page, which would be super, super fast, like takes under five minutes, you're going to click next and it's going to take you now to the second page. So the second page is where you pretty much just write in all of the basic information. It should be really straightforward, like your name, your address. In most situations, if you actually have a business, you're going to put down your business address. But if you are, let's say, unemployed, which is why this applies to a lot of people who are unemployed or have a side hustle, you're pretty much just going to put down your regular home address and then pretty much to select sole proprietor which basically just means that you're a one-person team which is another reason why as mentioned is that it's definitely something to look into because you don't need to have like a major LLC corporation empire you can apply as an individual and then once you do that you're gonna put in your social security number and then you're gonna scroll all the way to the bottom and the big thing is that when you get to the bottom this is the part that will be maybe a little bit more complicated essentially this is the part where you have to write in all of the things related to the financial aspect of your business so things like that would include such as like your revenue your cost of goods your expenses anything that you would typically see in a financial statement or balance sheet to show how much money you made all of this information you can pretty much either find from your specific tax document and again this can be from your individual so it doesn't it's not a you know a separate company tax although it can be but just your individual tax report um, especially if you happen to have a schedule C which is essentially a tax document for self-employed people to write off their expenses to pay less taxes in many situations, there's also a lot of people that sometimes even just have a simple Excel sheet where they just write down manually like how much money they've made every single month in the last like one to two years. And that's what they can use to fill out this part. So afterwards, you're going to now go on to the third page. Now the third and the fourth page is basically where you write down more things related to like the basic information that you're going to need. And then after you complete the third and fourth page, you should pretty much now officially arrive at the ending. So that is the really, really great news. Now, this is basically the application process, so hopefully it's not too complicated. If you have all of the documents and everything needed, it should probably take less than 30 minutes. Now, once you do finish this, everything that we just mentioned is going to be how to apply for the just general EIDL grant program. Now, if you're interested in trying to um, figure out how to actually apply for the more targeted program because remember we talked about in the last video which once again will be at the very very end screen how there are three parts of this program the second and the third part of this program that's something where once you complete the first part they're going to pretty much email you and in most situations it should take right around 24 hours where they will email you a link to tr now try to apply for the second or the third version of the program if you don't end up getting this link it probably means that there was something about this first part that they are probably trying to get you to take care of before they send you the link to apply for the second or the third part now maybe to answer one very very common question is about how much money you can receive from this. So for all three of the programs, it really, really varies. Technically, it can range from $0 if you're not able to go through the program to anywhere between $1,000 to right around $15,000 dollars as a grant which is pretty much money that you can keep personally i also applied for this program but in the very very beginning of this year so relatively when it got released which is why we're making this video so you can hopefully try to do it before the deadline um so for me i use my own personal business in order to apply for this and i was able to get about one thousand dollars so the great news is that it shows you that it's you know a very very possible thing now i did try to apply for the second and the third version and I believe it was due to some kind of income related thing. Sadly, I did not get approved for the second or the third version. So the big idea is that it can be a little bit of a toss up. Again, I believe it's probably, I would guess around like a 50% success rate, but it is definitely something that hopefully if approved, even for a small amount, can be really, really worth trying for. 
And then maybe a really, really quick insert though, is that if you do end up getting the link for the second or third version of this program, that link actually, or that form, is actually really, really short. So if you do end up getting that link, the really great news is that that program or that page, it should actually be basically a lot of the same exact information from the first application that we just talked about. Now just input it into the second version of this application. And that one is actually really, really short. I believe that one takes, if you have every information prepared, under 10 minutes. So it is actually pretty much, I'm pretty sure it's less than two pages at most. So that is the really great news. And maybe the last common question is really about the deadline. So the big idea is that as long as you are able to get in this application by the end of this year, the great news is that you should be set in terms of hitting the deadline at least. So you don't necessarily have to get the result by the end of this year, but you do have to submit the application by then. So that is the really, really relatively great news assuming there's more time um but beyond that is is that that's what i really just wanted to share in today's update so if you guys found that relatively insightful hopefully and haven't done so maybe consider smashing the like button consider subscribing hitting the bell and as always feel free to comment any questions personal thoughts about honestly just anything and once again i'll put those two videos at the end screen so with that being said thank you guys so much for watching as always stay safe stay well happy holidays merry christmas and Hope to see you guys next time. Thank you guys so much again.